uh, I think you heard kind of what's what's going on. I, obviously, you know what happened uh, with John Gruden. Your reaction when you read uh, even the first emails last week, never mind what came out yesterday. Yeah, I, I wasn't really paying attention much to it. I had people contact me and stuff and let me know. But then uh, and once I found out, it was kind of like, now I really wonder what was the real reason why I did let go. I'm still kind of curious about that, about why I got let go. And it's just been a whole roller coaster full of emotions, period. Just because, like, I spent like, the last two seasons out of football, just, I don't know, questioning, like, who I am as a person and stuff. And, like, especially uh, when it came to people coming up with these articles about me having personality issues when I'm just, kind of, like, just living life and just having fun. And it was just weird because I started questioning normal stuff I did and it just didn't feel good. I never got a chance to meet him physically. When I, the day that I showed up to the facility to meet him and bring him a gift and the uh, special teams coach, Rich Basakia, I got cut that same day. So, like, I never got a chance to meet him in person. And then... I don't know. It's it's just interesting, but I never got a chance to meet him, and that's why I'm kind of like trying to figure out what do we, what do people get these personality issue things from? Like, how come it's not being addressed? Like, this isn't the real issue. Do you feel like the truth um, has kind of surfaced, and does that comfort you at all? Because it sounds like you've been through a lot in the last couple of years, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I've been. I've definitely been through a lot. Um, for sure, I've definitely been through a lot. But at the same time. Um, uh, I see it as a positive thing too. Even though as aggravated as I was at the time, I was so aggravated. Like it's it's days where I had really bad days where I'm like, man, like, oh no, like I was in a really dark place for a while. For a while. Um, shout out to my cousin. Like I would always talk to him every day. He would always keep me up. But um, yeah, man, it's. I mean, I definitely feel a certain type of way. Like when I was going through what I went through, but it made me a better person. Period. Like. I just see things a lot differently. I became a, a better musician. I've, I've done a lot of stuff that I could do besides just football. And it also showed me like football just doesn't define me as a person. Like I'm way bigger than that. And people should, people are way bigger than what their titles are. Uh, you just gotta be humble, you know? Are you still trying to get back into the NFL? Would you want to get back in the NFL? And Especially you, now, and now, now that all this has surfaced. Yeah, yeah, other teams might look at you differently now. For sure. Like I'm, Bro, I've been grinding. Shout out to AZ Kicking and Training, Simon Laurier. Like, we've been, I've been grinding the whole time. I'm getting ready. If somebody threw me in a suit and put me on the field right now, I would be uh, one of the top five punters in the league for sure. Like, ain't nobody out punting me like that, you know? And, and I put the work in and I deserve to say that.